Hey, welcome back to camp. We are going to camp tonight. We got a few people coming to join us. We're gonna have a friendly little camp out. And I got the big boy with me. Oh. But we just pulled up, so we got a lot of work to do. We're gonna stay in the uh, bell tent tonight. That should be fun. Oh, we got to get all this stuff out of the truck, get camp set up, but I think we're going to have lunch first. We're doing a little maintenance here on our spot where we set up the bell tent. There's just some tiny little stumps and things and ready to get, get those cut out so they don't poke holes in the bottom of the tent. So yeah, we're going to have some uh, different guests tonight, going to stay. So we got to get this place cleaned up, looking looking sharp. Got a few little uh, things I want to do. Put a little light in the outhouse and put a little floodlight out here. Make it feel like at least a three and a half turtle shell hotel. I'm not touching that. You want to open the other side before it gets hot. Halfway or? There's only so much room there, so. Time to set up the tent. We're not going to show you how to do it this time. We have two other videos you can go watch if you want to see us set it up and struggle. So you can go watch those other videos if you want to see how it's set up. We'll show you when we're done. Yeah, because I got some new things to show you with the uh, stove. I lied. You get to watch a little bit. Buddy, you okay? Yeah. I am okay. How tired are you pulling that? Pulling it. No, it doesn't matter. Both the other ones are stretching. Well, do you need one more? Probably. Oh, we got this one. Can I tie it to the tree? 
What do you think? Did you get warm doing all that work? Yeah. All right, the tent is up. The hardest part about that is just bending over to put all the Daddy, pegs in the ground. Down. Make sure you get some of my young to help you do that. I'm gonna put the stove in. I got some pieces to show you, new pieces. Okay, I'm gonna get this. I got a roast that we're gonna smoke. I'm gonna get it going. I got it all I got it all pre-seasoned. That shouldn't be hot at all. Ew. Put it on the top or the bottom? Uh, I put it on the bottom usually, but it's really hot. Smoker is a little hot, but it'll be alright. Chuck roasts are pretty forgiving when you smoke them. I don't know if you ever smoked a chuck roast, but it is, uh, it's great. I'd put it right up there with brisket. It's kind of the poor man's brisket, you know. That's nice, yeah. Man, it's getting hot in here. I'm gonna wish it was this warm this evening. I know. Come in, All right, come in we got that stove jack. Can you see us through that hole? Go say hi. Look at it. <laughs> so I got these new 45s for the pipe. I'll show you how we're gonna use them. That one looks different than the other one. Okay. So this thing. I guess we should put it in, in from the like inside. The exhaust pipe on a motor. Does this go inside? Yeah, that one does too. Hey. Oh, geez. I'm in here. <laughs> okay, now. Congratulations. Hey, Luke. Look what, oh, you're so This way, right? Yeah. So previously, this thing just came straight up and it got. Previous on. Uh, <laughs> previously. <kept nobody. laughs> this thing was just straight up. So now I got these 45s. So there's going to be one on the inside, 45 in it up and then 45 in it up this way. I hope there's not an issue with it holding its own weight here, but we'll see. So what, I need one and then the 45 in here? I don't know. You're probably gonna need the... There's 45 widows in here. Cause I gotta go here, here, right? Thank you, Knox. All right. It's hot in there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Can you hang on? There you go. Give it a little push. There we go, it's on. Nice. Now, does that need to come out more? It looks perfect out here. Okay. So you can see that's working out pretty well. It's like perfect inside and then that's going to push this higher. But the only thing I noticed inside is it pushes the pushes the stove further out into like the middle of the floor. So it's taking up a little more space than Too. I was worried it was going to be kind of floppy because it's out. What is this, Luke? It's called the damper. <laughs> it just makes noise. That's the purpose of it. Yeah. That's all it's for. <laughs> <laughs> Something you could do is you could spin it so the you know it faces this way. I would have or it face that face way. It that way. Yeah. And that would help get it out of the middle of the floor a little bit. Or it's a water heater. Oh, okay. Put water in there. And it's got a little spigot. I, this, I like this new 45. It feels solid, doesn't it? Yeah, it feels a lot, a lot better than we've had it before. And look how straight like the oh. stove, stove jack is. And yeah, that's... <laughs> Oh, 
How's it going? Are you getting divorced yet? All right, so I got this light for the inside the outhouse. Let's see if I can put it up. Oh no, oh yeah, I got the tools here. All right, we're gonna make the outhouse fancy. Got a light to put in there. What do you think, right inside on the right? Come in, reach for the light. Should it be up here? Over here? I'm gonna try here. See, it's actually designed to hang this way, but we'll see how it works this way. And then it's got a, a different delay. One minute, five minute, 15 minute auto shut off, which is perfect for an outhouse. We'll do 15 minutes. See how well that lights later when it gets dark. We decided we're moving the picnic table over here somewhere. Go. It's not perfectly level, but <laughs> we'll make it level. It'll do. Donkey, go come in here. We got sleep in here? Yeah. Okay, who snores? So I got this granite gear portage pack for the uh, Boundary Waters trip. You go watch that video. But I like it for also carrying all of the pillows and stuff. You don't want to get dirty. Hey, that's my blanket. That's your blanket. We're not going to be cold in here, are we? I got a blanket, I got a sheet. Here's your pillow. There's my bed. Thank you, Dad. You're welcome. It's Nice. Yeah, works good. I like it. Alright, so I got this little floodlight I'm gonna put up here somewhere. Solar power, it's got a switch. It's also got a motion detector, it's got a uh, Remote, also. Let's see how that works. Elk and pork. And beef. And bison and pork. Oh, look at that meat looking good already. Already, it's gonna be heavy. Oh, and it's gonna be hot. Before I put a glove on. Yeah, look at that. Folks, get out of here. Oops. Oh. Oh no. Stop. <laughs> Eric. No. <laughs> hey, you can have it.
have one. Ah! Gotta get some liquid in there. Wrap it up tight. Fog in there, so I'm gonna open her all up. Oh yeah, my eyes. Hey, there's my dad. Here's your dad. Is our food ready? Oh man, that's a lot of juices. Had her eat a lot. Just start drinking, so. Look at this guy. Look Give it up for you. Dude, stop eating. It's <laughs> 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 stop eating. <laughs> the camera. Mmm. <laughs> 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 it's she over there? She's like that pull your meat out. Pull your meat out. Mm. Potatoes are perfect though. Good girl, Feed two a lot in high school, and I did a little bit in choir or in college, but yeah, not much. Always so jealous. I wish we had that. Before. I still have Converse. I don't wear them that much anymore. I want to get some and then personalize them. Like I saw somebody one time build, she'll put like your initials on the tongue of the shoe. Or... Yeah. How's he going in here? Uh, little guys. Ow. Unless you just woke him up with that bright light. I oh, is it a warm, cozy? <clears throat> we are all tucked in. Let's check how the wood stove is going. Oh, somebody just loaded it. All right. Good night. We'll see you in the morning. Well, good morning. We made it through the night. The stove worked very well. Kept it toasty in there. You do have to get up every couple hours and uh, reload wood, but it's worth it. it. Keeps it warm. So we had our breakfast. We're gonna find something to do here for a little while before the inevitable pack up. All right, so we're packing up. We got the tent down already. We're loading up the truck.
All right. Campsite is clean again. As clean as it gets. And we got the picnic table over here now, which was really nice having it over here. We got the cedar sawdust playground. It's like a sandbox, but messier. Uh, uh, I can't go. Did you have a good camping trip? Yeah. Yeah. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. See you next time.